Hi, I'm Liam from Slam Network Gaming, and this is Room Temperature Apple Gaming. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Days Before Christmas for the Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo. But first, I'm going to take a bite out of this Room Temperature Apple. Here we go. So, Days Before Christmas was a game made for both the Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo. There aren't a lot of differences between the Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo version. The biggest difference is there's a slight change to the graphics, and I think the music is a little bit better in the Sega Mega Drive version. Other than that, I think the games are pretty much exactly the same. There's no real advantage to playing one over the other. Oh, sorry, I got a bit of... in my teeth. Don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah. The game is a simple platformer in which you control a Santa Claus with the ability to shoot energy balls from his hand, trying to get presents back from the mostly Christmas themed bosses. Despite its appearance, the game doesn't control too poorly. It's not as tight as some other platforming offerings of its era, like Super Mario World or Yoshi's Island, but it's not terrible either. The big gameplay <coughs> gameplay feature this game brings to the table is the ability to turn into Santa's evil counterpart, Anti Claus. Santa's skin turns red, he grows horns and can swing his sack at enemies. This isn't exactly great though, because this makes you unable to pick up presents and offers no real advantage over the regular form of Santa. All in all, it's not a terrible game. It is actually quite a fun retro title to play around Christmas time. Although, it is definitely not worth the high collector's prices you see it going for on eBay. I give Days Before Christmas for the Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo 2.5 apples out of 5. And I give this delicious Granny Smith 5 apples out of 5. Wow, that wasn't so bad! I don't know what all the fossils are about. Peppers. Oh, they eat peppers. Oh, that's, yeah, no, no, fuck that. Oh, you crazy? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to check out Hot Pepper Gaming's channel. This is what this was a parody of. Uh, it is quite funny. Uh, every time I watch one of their videos, I laugh my ass off. Uh, so, yeah, they're definitely worth checking out. Head over there and laugh at people burning their mouths when they're trying to do game reviews drool and stuff, it's hilarious. Um, make sure to check out my channel as well, we've got a lot of hilarious gaming videos around and a couple more parody videos. Um, if you want to see videos from myself and Hot Pepper Gaming, check one of these videos here. I hope I put them here, because that would be embarrassing if I didn't. <laughs> um, make sure to like, comment and subscribe on this video, tell me what you think. Um, and yeah, that's it forward to my next Christmas video. Ooh. See ya!